Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about broadcast receivers, which are used to respond to system-wide events. And this video will be really quick and dirty because it's really not hard to respond to such events. So broadcasts in Android are these system-wide events that can occur, such as when your device started, when an SMS is received, or when an outgoing call happens. And to respond to these broadcasts, we need to create a class that acts as a broadcast receiver. And to keep this simple, I will just respond to a change in airplane mode and simply show toast when the user toggles it. So let's go into your app package and create a new Kotlin class. I will call this airplane mode changed receiver. Make sure to select class here, press enter. And this class will inherit from broadcast receiver. This doesn't take any parameters, but we have to implement a function um, which is called on receive. So type on receive, press enter. And in this function, we will put our code that should be executed when the user changes his airplane mode. So let's actually change those variable names here, this one to context and this one to intent. So it's a little bit more clear. And when a broadcast is sent by the system, then this broadcast is always sent with an intent. So when the airplane mode changes, then the system will look which apps want to be notified about that change. And then the system will send intents to those apps. So in our case, this is the intent that we get by the system. And this intent also contains information, in our case, about the airplane mode. So this contains information whether that airplane mode is now enabled or disabled. And I will show you how to respond to that. We will create a val is airplane mode um, enabled, which is a Boolean. And we get it by calling our intent, make that null check, and call get Boolean extra. And the extra that is about whether our airplane mode is now active or not is called state. And we have to choose a default value in case this extra doesn't exist, which will never happen in this case. But I just um, choose false here. You could also choose true, it doesn't matter. Now we can make an if check if this airplane mode is enabled, if airplane mode enabled. So if that is true, and as you can see, it, it throws us an error here because that is airplane mode enabled boolean is nullable. And we cannot just check if a nullable type is true. Instead, we have to make sure it is not null. And in this example, we can simply do this by making a null check here. So if you don't know what this operator means is it will take this value and check if it is null. And if it is null, it will simply return out of this function. So it won't even continue with this code. And if it is not null, then this is airplane mode enabled will of course, just receive the value from this Boolean extra. And in this case, the error is gone and we can simply go on and show our toast. So let's write toast.make text. As context, we cannot choose this here. Instead, we choose the context passed in the parameter. As a text, I choose airplane mode enabled. Enabled. And toast.length long. And call that show afterwards. Then we can copy this toast line and paste it in our else block. And of course, change this to disabled. And I have a typo here, enabled. Perfect. That's it for our broadcast receiver class. Now we can go into our main activity. And here we need to register our receiver. So the system actually knows that we want to receive broadcast events um, in case the airplane mode changes. And for that, we need to define what is called an intent filter, intent filter, import that. And that intent filter is just used for the system to determine which apps want to receive which intents. And by creating this, we just tell the system, hey, we want to respond to airplane mode changes. So inside of this constructor of intent filter, we need to put the action we want to respond to, and that is intent action airplane mode changed the first one and we call dot also afterwards and in here we just need to register our receiver 
that takes two parameters. The first is the broadcast receiver. We can just create an instance of our airplane mode changed receiver. And the second parameter is this intent filter we just created, so we can just pass it. And if we leave it like that, then we will cause a memory leak actually. That is a very common mistake because if we take a look in our airplane mode change receiver, then you can see this class holds an instance of context and that context is actually our activity context in which we create that receiver. So the context referencing to our main activity. And let's imagine we will close our activity and the broadcast receiver is still active, then it will still hold the, the, the context to our activity, even though our activity is closed. And that will cause a memory leak. To fix that, we need to override on stop. So every time we close our activity, we want to unregister our receiver and pass receiver here. Of course, we don't have that instance yet. So we can just create it above here. Well, let's make it a late init var receiver, which is an airplane mode changed receiver, and initialize this in on create. So receiver is equal to airplane mode changed receiver, and make sure to pass it in this register receiver function too. So pass receiver here. And now we are good to go. And what I also think is important to mention is that there are actually two different types of broadcast receivers, which are static and dynamic receivers. The static receivers are declared in the manifest and work even if your app is closed. But since API level 26, most broadcasts can only be caught by a dynamic receiver, which will only work if your app is active or minimized. And we actually declared a dynamic receiver here because we declared that intent filter dynamically in our code. And because most broadcast events can only be caught by a dynamic receiver, I only wanted to show you how to do this in this video. So now we can actually run our app and see what happens. So here's our app. We don't have any layout, but that's fine. We don't need it. So if we now enable our flight mode, then you can see a toast shows up, airplane mode enabled. And if we disable it again, the toast says airplane mode disabled. So our broadcast receiver is working perfectly fine. If this video was helpful for you, then please leave a like and comment below. And also if there is anything I can improve on, please let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful for me. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.